Hey guys, this is Rich from Rich TV Live, and I have four marijuana stocks that have been heating up on Friday, and I wanted to bring it to your attention here on the weekend so you can do some due diligence, do some research, and let me know what you think. Now, this is a paid promotion. It's on Marijuana Index, and I believe it's from a company called, where is it here? MarijuanaStocks.com, okay? So this is a paid promotion. They got paid to do this. These are the companies that they're pushing, and sometimes it's good just to know what's going on in the market. So the marijuana stock market has seen a huge boost this past year, which could spell out a true first mover advantage as we continue into the new year. Following the recent passing of the 2018 U.S. Farm Bill and Canada's countrywide legalization, the cannabis sector has shown substantial prowess in terms of the presenting investors with potential opportunities. According to research conducted by leading market analysts, the global marijuana market is predicted to reach $55 billion by 2024. It stands to reason that companies with the ability to combine the multitude of applications of cannabis with interactive approaches to design and marketing could create potential opportunities resulting in an increase of investor attention to the cannabis sector. CLS Holdings USA, CLSH, a new company I have not talked about, I have not seen. I want you guys to put it on your watch list. I'm not suggesting you should buy it, okay? This is a paid promotion by MarijuanaStocks.com. They're being paid to talk about this. I'm just bringing it to your attention because they're at like 29 cents and they have almost no volume. So I don't think anybody even knows about this stock. Put on your watches, put on your radar. Kushko Holdings Inc., one of my top picks, KSHB, innovative industrial properties on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol IIPR, trading very, very high. And Ianthus Capital Holdings, OTCQX, ITHUF, and on the CNSX, IAN, are four pot stocks to keep your eye on moving forward. I agree. I like Kush Bottles and I like Ianthus a lot. I'm not too sure about CLSH. It's a new one, but it could have a good future. And IIPR is priced very, very high, but they're clearly doing quite well. Let's learn about CLS Holdings USA Inc. CLSH is a diversified cannabis company operating as Cannabis Life Sciences and an integrated cannabis producer and retailer in Nevada through its Oasis Cannabis subsidiaries. The company is also a developer of proprietary patent pending extraction and conversion methodology with the potential to increase both yield and quantity of cannabinoid oils extracted from cannabis plants. The company's business model is comprised of licensing operations, processing operations, processing facilities, processing sales, and brand creation. Earlier in 2018, CLS Holdings USA Inc., CLSH, closed on its acquisition of Oasis Cannabis, a company which announced that packaged marijuana product represented 67% of its total sales. As a cannabis retailer for the state of Nevada, Oasis served over 127,000 customers in its first year of adult use sales. In recent news, CLS Holdings USA, CLSH, announced that it has been included in the LD Micro Index effective February 1st, 2019. For those unfamiliar, unfamiliar with the index, the LD Micro Index is designed to give the most accurate representation of the intraday activity of microcap stocks in North America. For more information on CLS Holdings USA, click here. Follow the link, Kush Co Holdings Inc. KSHB, the parent company of several cannabis industry leaders such as Kush Supply Co, Kush Energy, the Hybrid Creative, and others announced several changes to its executive leadership team earlier this week. Effective March 1st, 2019, Jim McCormick will step down from his role as Chief Operating Officer of Cushco to pursue other opportunities. Rodrigo de Oliveira will be promoted from his current role as Vice President of Operations of Cush Supply Co. to take over as Interim COO of the company. Jason Vygotsky, currently President of Cush Supply Co., will be promoted to Chief Revenue Officer of the company. And Carmen Lam, currently Regional Sales Director of Cush Supply Co., will be promoted to Senior Vice President of Cush Supply Co. You can also follow the link to learn more about Cush Co. Holdings, Inc. Let's talk about Innovative Industrial Properties, Inc., IIPR. Today announced that its operating partnership subsidiary, IIP, Operating Partnership, LP, 
priced a private offering of 125 million aggregate principal amount of 3.75% exchangeable senior notes due 2024. It's 125 million dollars, people. Per the announcement, the operating partnership has granted the initial purchasers of the notes a 30-day option to purchase up to an additional 18.75 million aggregate principal amount of the notes to cover over allotments, if any. The operating partnership intends to use the net proceeds from the private offering to invest in specialized industrial real estate assets that support the regulated cannabis cultivation and processing industry that are consistent with its investment strategy and for general corporate purposes. Now let's talk about Ianthus, a company that I told you guys is a monster. Ianthus Capital Holdings Inc., I-T-H-U-F in America, I-A-N in Canada, saw impressive gains during afternoon trading on Friday, which shares up 4.76%, trading at $5.50 per share. The company announced earlier this week that Pam Tiernan has been promoted to Executive Vice President of Operations, responsible for the company's operations across the United States. Hadley Ford, CEO of Ianthus, commented, Pat is an experienced operations executive with a proven ability to replicate processes to deliver a consistent consumer experience. He has extensive operations, general management, and business development experience, and we are excited to have him on his new role. With our current footprint of 11 states, Pat track record is driving operational excellence across companies is expected to result in immediate dividends to Ianthus. Keep your eye on Ianthus. Now, this is an article on the Marijuana Index, and it's about MarijuanaStocks.com. Now, remember, they have been compensated $100,000 for this alert, but it doesn't mean that these are not good companies. It just means that they are paying in some type of method for this advertising for this media okay i just want to bring this to your attention remember don't go and buy anything just because you heard it here first okay buy it because you've done the due diligence you've done the research and you love that stock i want to know if there's any of these stocks that you like i personally really like ianthus and i really like kush bottles two of the four clsh is a new one that i'm going to be adding to my watch list and iipr i really like them but they're priced too high for me so i'm not going to actually currently look to purchase anything at those levels but two of these four stocks I'm very interested in. Let me know what you guys think. If you like this video, smash the like button. Comment down below. Share the video everywhere. Remember, if I win and you win, we all win. It's true. This is your boy, Rich. If you're not winning, you're not watching. I'm out. Peace.